Hi everyone. Today we're going to read a Peppa Pig book called Peppa and Her Golden Boots. Subscribe to my channel, press that red button below and follow me where you'll find hundreds of Peppa Pig books in my collection. I've also got Hey Dougie books, Bluey books, I've got Touch and Feel books and Sound books, so do check out my playlists. Now let's begin. Peppa and Her Golden Boots. It was the day of the big puddle jumping competition. Peppa and her friends were practicing jumping up and down in muddy puddles. My daddy always wins, boasted Peppa. He says the first rule of puddle jumping is to wear your boots. And mine are very special because they are made of gold. They are not gold, replied Susie Sheep. They're yellow. They are not yellow. They are real plastic gold, protested Peppa. Would anyone like some orange juice, called Mummy Pig from the house. Yes, please, replied everyone. They ran inside, leaving their boots outside the front door. When Peppa and her friends had finished their juice, they headed outside to put on their boots. Oh no, my boots have gone, sobbed Peppa. Mr Zebra arrived with the post. I've just seen a duck with boots on, he said. Peppa sniffed. Were they gold? No, yellow, replied he replied. Quack, quack. Mrs. Duck came running down the hill wearing Peppa's golden boots. Peppa ran, af ran after her. Mrs. Duck, can I have my boots back, please? But Mrs. Duck did not want to give Peppa's boots back. She didn't stop running until she reached Captain Dog's boat. No one could stop Mrs. Duck. She leapt into the water and swam away. Captain Dog started his engine. I think my boat can go faster than that duck, he exclaimed. But Captain Dog's boat could not keep up with Mrs. Duck. Hmm, that's a fast duck, he said. Mrs. Duck finally stopped at the little island where Grampy Rabbit has, had been shipwrecked when his boat capsized. Mrs. Duck has my boots on and she won't give them back, replied, replied Pepper. Don't worry, Pepper, replied Grampy Rabbit. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. But then Mrs. Duck started flying and she was still wearing the boots. Oh no, cried Pepper. Mrs. Duck is flying to the moon with my boots. Don't worry, Pepper, said Grampy Rabbit, pointing to the neighbouring island. We'll take my rocket. Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon, said Mummy Pig. Nonsense, insisted Grampy Rabbit, helping everyone into the rocket. Five, four, three, two, one... Blast off! On the moon, Pepper and her friends search everywhere for Mrs. Duck and the golden boots. Let's ask at the shop, suggested Susie Sheep. You don't get shops on the moon, exclaimed Daddy Pig. Postcards, called Miss Rabbit from inside her gift shop. Ice cream, buckets, spades. Meanwhile, Grandpa Pig had spotted Mrs. Duck in his garden. Those aren't your boots, are they? he asked. He quickly dialed Daddy Pig's number. Hello, Grandpa Pig, said Daddy Pig. Yes, Peppa has lost some boots. We'll be right there. Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden, announced Grampy Rabbit. Peppa bounced excitedly out of the rocket. My boots, my golden boots, she exclaimed. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa Pig helped Peppa to put her boots on. Now we can go to the puddle jumping competition, said Mommy Pig. Oh yes, agreed Daddy Pig. We'd better hurry. The big puddle jumping competition was about to begin. First up, Daddy Pig, cried Mr. Potato. Daddy Pig took a giant leap and made a very big splash. Then it was Mr. Elephant's turn and Mr. Elephant made an even bigger splash. Mr. Elephant is the winner, announced Mr. Potato. Pepper cleared her throat. Please can I have a go too, she asked. Oh, of course, replied Mr. Potato. And can all my friends help? Asked Pepper added. Mr. Elephant was not pleased. Um, hang on, I don't think that's really... It sounds perfectly fair to me, interrupted Daddy Pig. Pepper and her friends formed a circle and held hands. Five, four, three, two, one. They all chanted, jump! Whee! Sploosh! Pepper and her friends made uh, the biggest splash ever. Pepper and her friends are the winners, declared Mr. Potato. 
Um, I still think, began Mr. Elephant. Hooray! Everyone cheered loud, loudly. Quack, quack. Peppa loved her golden boots. Everyone loved their boots. And everyone loved the big puddle jumping competition. The end. Hope you enjoyed that. That was Peppa and her golden boots. Subscribe to my channel, press that red button below and follow me where you'll find even more Peppa Pig books in my collection. I have hundreds and hundreds of the Peppa Pig books, the full shebang, the full collection. So do check out my channel. Bye bye for now.